Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is valid mountain array. Very easy problem. Uh, we are given an array of integers and we need to return true if and only if it is a valid mountain array. What is valid mountain array? Valid mountain array is that if the array is first strictly increasing, like all the elements are in ascending order, then a point comes after which the array becomes strictly decreasing. So if you see over here 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, all these are increasing numbers. And after 5, now it is going in decreasing order 2, 1, 0, like this. So it should be strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. So this this test case will give it will return true because it's a mountain mountain array that is strictly increasing then strictly decreasing. If we see this one, it is strictly increasing. See zero two, but over here three three comes which are which is equal right. Both elements are equal, so it's not strictly increasing. The element should not be same. Over here see over here it was three four then it was okay but here three three is there so this is not okay. Rest is okay, like 5, 2, 1, 0, but strictly increasing. It's increasing, but not strictly, right? Because of the, these are equal. So this will give false. So let's see how we'll approach this problem. So what we need to do is we need to check that if these elements are increasing and then a point comes after which they, it is decreasing. So initially it should be increasing. Initially, it sh should be increasing and then it should be decreasing. Then it should be decreasing. So, see, what will be the point? What will be the point when it will, when we, we, we will know that, okay, it's now started decreasing. See, for example, our i is here. Our i is here. Now, if, if this ar or of i element, is less than if it's less than this arr of i minus 1 if this is the case that is arr of i minus 1 this element is greater than this element means from this from this element our array is now decreasing this is a condition to to know that okay if this is if this is there then our array is now decreasing it will be now decreasing so we can have a flag now we can have a flag or we can have a variable which will tell us that whether currently our array is increasing or if it is decreasing so for example what we can do is we can have a variable let's say increasing so initially see initially our array will be increasing only it will be increasing only so initially we will give it a value one that is one means it's increasing so when we will reach this condition when we reach is when we reach this condition so this means that now array will be decreasing. So then we will change this one to and we will ch change it to zero. Means now it is decreasing. If increasing is zero. Right. This is one thing. See this is one thing. We got to know that uh, how we will maintain how to maintain that array is increasing or decreasing. Maintain increasing or decreasing. Now for example initially for example over here. <coughs> increasing is 1 increasing is 1 means it's increasing so all the elements like if this is ar of i it should be greater than i minus 1 element na? that it, then only it will be increasing so if, if if this is i this is i minus 1 3 is greater than 2 similarly if this is i this is i minus 1 4 is greater than 3 so this is increasing for example if over here something like this comes instead of this 4 we have let's say 1 then what will happen when we will reach here, ideally ARR of i should be greater than ARR of i minus 1 na? because it's increasing. But now if i is here, 1 is not greater than ARR of i minus 1 which is 3. So this is not true. Hence over here we will return false that it's breaking the breaking the uh, condition of mountain array. Condition of mountain array. Right. So this is this will be same in the case of decreasing. For example, I'll write 4 here only. 4 here. So for example, uh, let's remove this. 
let's say over here uh, in place of one in place of one we have four so now when when we when i will be here when i will be here so arr of i minus one five is greater than arr of i which is two so this means that we have reached our decreasing now it will be decreasing from now onwards so we will change increasing to zero means it's decreasing now so we will move our i forward now what should happen since this is decreasing now so every arr of i should be should be less than arr of i minus one right because it's decreasing but over here what is there four is not less than this arr of i minus one which is two here condition is breaking again for decreasing right so then if this happens we will return false again so what we are doing is let's quickly quickly uh, see quickly write an algorithm for this i hope you are understanding what we are trying to do we are trying to think of different uh, yeah, different cases what can be there so over here it's five and over here i'll write a uh, one only like this <clears throat> So let's see. Initially, we have an increasing variable. We have increasing variable. Initially, it will be one only because our array will be increasing. And uh, what will be the change? Uh, what will be the condition when we will change increasing? It will be if if this this i o is is here, then if a r r of i value is less than a r r of i minus one. Over here, like five. Two. Is less than five means now array is now decreasing from this this from this point array is decreasing so we will change increasing to zero this is a point where we will change our to zero right so what we will do we will have a i point i, I variable I I'll, I'll do the indexing zero one two three four five six and seven right so i will be zero right uh initially uh, i we will start i from 1 because every time we need to access i minus 1 element na so i minus 1 uh, we have to start from one index so that we can access this one otherwise if we start from zero then it will go out of bounds right so here we are currently it's increasing right it's increasing so what should be ideal case ideal ideal thing should be ideal thing should be that arr of i should be always greater than arr of i minus 1 because it's increasing If somewhere happens that ARR of i becomes less than ARR of i minus one, then means it is breaking. It is breaking. Right. So what will happen? Uh, uh, we will go. So this is correct. It's it's this case which is ideal. Again we go here. This is i. Three is greater than two. Correct. It's increasing. Again go forward. it is also correct again go forward 5 is greater than 4 which is also correct again go forward now see over their condition we over here we get the condition that arr of i this is i 2 is less than arr of i minus 1 which is 5 means this is the this is the point where we will change our increasing so increasing will now be zero means from now onwards array will start be decreasing so it will be decreasing so for that what should be the case for that what should be the case it should be that a, it should be decreasing na so if this is i and this is i minus 1 so arr of i should be less than arr of i minus 1 i minus 1 because it's decreasing so this is the ideal case this is the ideal case and what will be not ideal case that if arr of i is greater than arr of i minus 1 that is that it will be increasing which is not correct so then we'll return false so over here what is the case see over here uh, our i is here if our i is here so 1 is uh, less than this 2 error of i minus 1 so this is ideal case it's decreasing hence it's okay so we'll go forward again 0 is less than error of i minus 1 which is 1 so this is also okay so see we have traversed the entire array and we uh, we have traversed the entire array so we will return at the end we will return true means it was a mountain array right for example over here in place of this 4 we get 3 we get 3 so 
when we will be checking condition over here it should be increasing na over here it should be increasing that is arr of i should be always greater than arr of i minus 1 but here ar if i is here so then is what is happening 3 is equal to arr of minus equal to arr of i minus 1 element which is wrong so here return false so this this will be our this one this case right so this is simple see this is simple algorithm right now there are two cases which are which we are missing two cases we are missing what are those two cases see there by there might be an edge case that the array which is given to us is always increasing like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 like this always increasing so this is not mountain right this is not mountain we need to check whether it is mountain or not mountain is like this this is only going in upward direction increasing and there could be one more case when it is always decreasing always decreasing that is let's say 2 1 2 1 0 and something like that 3 2 1 0 let's say so this is always decreasing so this is also not mountain so in both these cases we have to return false how we will handle these cases let's see so over here according to the algorithm which we discussed let's see for this one first we will take a increasing variable initially it will be 1 and every time arr of i should be greater than arr of i minus 1 which is the ideal case right for increasing this is ideal case for increasing so i we will start from 1 1 index i we start from 1 index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 i we start from 1 index <coughs> so ar of this one is greater than this ar of i minus 1 hence this is correct go forward this is also 2 is greater than 1 which is correct 3 is also greater than 2 correct 4 is greater than 3 a i is great uh, ar of i is greater than ar of i minus 1 which is correct go forward so if you see we have traversed the entire array and increasing value is 1 at end if increasing value if see if increasing value is 1 at the end means we never got the decreasing condition we never got this condition which will which will tell us that okay now it will be decreasing from here so we did not get this decreasing condition hence if after the traversal of the array after the traversal of the array increasing is 1 means we never got the decreasing array hence it's not a mountain array return false return false this is one condition right now this was for always increasing what is always decreasing let's say that let's see that so what will happen over here is uh this is 0 1 2 3 we will start from increasing will be initially 1 increasing will be 1 and i we will start from 1 index from here right over here what will happen arr of i is less than arr of i minus 1 arr why so this is the condition this is the condition for decrease changing increasing to zero na means now it is decreasing this is that condition see this is that condition so what we will do is we will change increasing to zero now we need to check over here we need to check over here that when this is we are doing we are uh, changing increasing to zero is i at index 1 because if i is at index 1 it means that there is only decreasing array this is only decreasing because at index 1 only we got the like decreasing element so if i is equal to 1 then return false because it's only decreasing array it's only decreasing array there was no increasing part increasing part was not here that's why at index 1 the uh, we got the condition so these are two cases which we need to take care of i hope you understood let's see the code now <clears throat> see uh first of all this function is given valid mountain array we are taking size and if there is single element let's say in array only single element is there this is your edge case let's say it, there is only 5 so obviously this is not a mountain array na so we will simply return false if there is only single element in array otherwise we take a variable increasing and initially its value is 1 we start from i is equal to 1 and 
this is the this is the uh, case where we are checking if increasing needs to change to zero or not if increasing change to zero or not that is that is if decreasing array comes or not if decreasing array decreasing array is there or not is there or not because if ar or phi this condition this condition this one if ar or phi is great less than ar or phi minus 1 means decreasing condition is now there but if i is equal to 1 means return false which we saw this is for always decreasing case always decreasing otherwise change increasing to 0 and now we are checking that if increasing is there and but but this condition we are uh, if this condition is getting violated because if it is increasing then obviously i should be always greater than i minus 1 but if i is less than equal to ar or i minus 1 return false else else what we need to do is if increasing is uh, 0 means that if there is decreasing array so every time i should be less than i minus 1 but if it is greater than return false right and this is done so after the traversal if increasing is still 1 if increasing is still 1 means we never got the decreasing array so this is for always increasing always increasing return false otherwise return true so this is your code let's submit it so it's getting accepted so time complexity for this is o of n as we are doing single traversal and space is also o, uh, is constant as we are taking only variables i hope you understood guys and let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.